Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And we are taking yet another look at our Low C XXL 2E today. Uh, this is an eighth scale monster truck, uh, very beefy, very large and heavy, um, very uh, high quality, pretty heavy duty truck here. So. Uh, just to recap over some of the, the fixes that we've done. So we did buy this use and uh, there were some problems with it. The the front differential bulkhead in here, give you a better view of that, was cracked. So we had to go ahead and replace that. Um, some of the diff mounts front and back, we had to kind of realign those, make sure that they were installed properly. Uh, we're actually, today we're going to uh, take a look at the hub so we're going to switch over to these 17 millimeter hubs uh, in contrast to the 20 millimeter hubs and um, we actually found um, found an issue with these so we ended up just getting these low c uh, 8 17 millimeter hexes from dollar hobbies uh, but there is a fitment issue with these uh, the pin is the right size. It's it's a you know it's a three millimeter pin here that goes through the axle. Uh, and let me just show you guys an uninstalled axle, right? So there's a hole in here that the pin goes through um, to hold that hex in place here, right? So you put that hex on, and there's a pin that slides through to hold it in place. So that fits. Uh, we had had a smaller um, 17 millimeter. Oh, well, we had a 17 millimeter hex with a two and a half millimeter pin, and that was uh, that that was too small. There's there's some wiggle there, so you definitely don't want that. So uh, we had to get a matching three millimeter pin. Uh, but the the issue with these uh, these 17 millimeter hexes off the eight is that there's some there's some play in there. So you can see that. See how that's wobbling here, um, and I. If you contrast that with the stock, see there's very, very little play in there. You know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, just, just very little, and, and it's it's measurable. Um, we can actually, let me show you guys here, I'll prop that up. We can actually measure that. I get my calibers here, and these are set to millimeters. So, if we measure the distance here, the thickness, between that pin and the edge of the hex, right? We get 1.27 millimeters for the stock 20 millimeter hex. If we take a look at, where did I just put that hex? I put it in the back there. If we take a look at the eight hex, Take that same measurement. It's 0.61. So uh, that's that's a difference of about 0.65. Um, again, let me take that measurement. 0.61 minus, yeah. So it's it's almost double, right? So, uh, and I I looked this up online on the forums. Um, other folks suggested um, putting some shims in there. If you buy the official kit from from Losi, and I forgot the exact part number, but um, you know it ends up being I don't know like twenty thirty dollars or something versus I think like the six dollars I paid for these, right? Uh, pretty big price difference. It, it does come with some shims though. Um, some folks on the forums suggested. Uh, some some eight uh, millimeter. That's the the inside diameter there. Uh, eight millimeter by ten millimeter uh, shims. And um, you know basically you want to uh, take take up that uh, you know that play with with some of these shims or you know really thin washers. Right. I don't know if you can see those, but we'll take these out of the bag here. Uh, my local hobby shop didn't have the ones that I had found on the forums, but basically they were eight millimeter internal diameter by 10 millimeter uh, outside diameter, right? Inside diameter, outside diameter, and uh, 0.2 millimeters thick. 
So these are a little bit thinner. I actually measured, um, you can actually measure them right inside the bag here by taking the thickness of the bag, you know, 0 0.8, 0 0.08 millimeters in this case, right? And then measuring it with um, the bag, all right, 0.23. So this is about 0 0.015 uh, millimeters thick. So to take up a gap of, you know, 0.6, millimeters, I'm, I'm going to need four of those, right? Four times 0 0.015 equals 0 0.6. So I'm um, just doing some quick math. Um, I'll need s probably, uh, I'll need four of those per wheel. Good thing this comes in a package of, of 20 here, right? So I can actually go up to five per wheel. So let's go ahead and try this out. We're going to go ahead and put those on, on, the, on this rear axle and I'm just going to Go ahead and dust this off real quick. Didn't do a full breakdown of the um, the axles, but um, you know, here just for reference, this is a washer I had laying around. Um, this is one point seven, so way too thick. You know, more than twice as thick. Again, we need probably point uh, point six millimeters of of overall thickness here. Uh, and this is just a standard SAE washer, but not going to work anyways. I was, I was, um, my hopes were dashed with that. So let me go ahead. So again, the, the part number on this is um, Calandra Racing Concepts. My local hobby shop had these in stock. Fortunately, this is part number four seven three eight. Um, you know, six dollars. So let me get this open and. We'll try using some of these shims. So these are pretty thin. Pour these out, some of these out onto my work mat here. So again, we're gonna go for four. Let me just get some of this stuff out of the way here. Oh, dumped a whole bunch out. All right, so let's count four. One, two, three, four. And that eight millimeter internal diameter is gonna fit nicely onto our eight millimeter diameter axle. So I just got four of those together and go ahead and get one of these pins out. Oops. One of these days we'll have to get a proper working stand. Get this on. And that's a lot better. I don't know if you guys can see that on a camera, but yeah, that is an acceptable amount. Versus if we take a look at the front here, it's just wobbling about. The rear, that's a lot better. So we could even put probably even one more shim in there, but um, we'll go ahead and tighten this up and now we can get our wheels on soon. Thanks again for watching. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in future episodes. Thanks again for watching.